Hi, this is Andrew from Kite Army. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this one-of-a-kind house number display. It's lit by LED, it's on a piece of plexiglass, will cost you about $30 and about five hours to make. So stay tuned and I'll walk you through every step that you need to go through to make this for yourself. One of the most difficult parts of this project is actually getting all the pieces together. When I said difficult, it's difficult if you don't know what to buy. I'm going to walk you through that right here, what you should get. I bought all this stuff on eBay. This was, this was delivered to me as one set for $15. What you're getting is an LED light string, a receiver, a remote control, and a power supply. You can look for kits that have all this, and that's probably the easiest way to buy it. But this is kind of what you're looking for. Let me show you how this gets put together. This plugs into here, the power supply goes on the other side, and this little guy right here is an infrared receiver. So that's that. As I said, pick this up for about $15. The next thing you'll need to get is a piece of plexiglass. This piece came as a six by 12 uh, piece, half inch thick. I think that worked perfectly for me, and it was about $15. Got that on eBay as well. Search for plexiglass, acrylic, and you'll find it. And the last piece that you'll need to get is a piece of tubing. This is an aluminum tubing, about three-quarter by three-quarter. It's got to be thicker than your piece of uh, plexiglass. So this worked perfectly. I got this at a home center for about 5 or $6. So this is the project and the steps. Basically, once you get the piece of plexiglass the size you like, I'm going to put the numbers on here. Then I'm going to use a router that I have, or you can even use a Dremel tool, whatever you have, to score this surface. And just scratch it up. It can be a sixteenth of an inch thick. You're not really digging into that. The way this is going to work is I'm going to lay this LED string on top, like so. I'll cut the end of the wire here. You can cut this to any length you want. So obviously I'm going to have a lot, of, a lot left over for maybe another project or maybe, maybe another sign. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to score on this side and this side with a table saw a small groove. I'm going to cut this to slide over the top there, and that's what it's going to look like when it's finished. Okay, the first cut I need to make on my standard circular saw here is right here. This is on a piece of plexiglass, half inch thick, that I purchased off eBay, but I need my dimension to be nine inches long, so that'll cut this little extra piece off here. This becomes waste. <laughs> All in all, that, came, that cut came out well. You can see here it's a little scraped up from the cut, and that's because the blade um, heated up and heated up the material and melted it. But you can fix this. You can sand it down. You can wet dry sand it with really uh, fine grade sandpaper. And then what you do is you put a hot torch over it really quickly, and it'll become clear again, just like this surface. All right, I've got my piece of plexiglass here, and you can see I've stenciled on the numbers of the house right there. So I also use numbers that don't have any sharp edges, and that's because my router bit is round, and that'll make it a lot easier. So when you choose numbers to use on this, be mindful of that. Try, try to choose a font that's kind of got no sharp edges and is just round. All right, you can see I just finished with my plaque. I was able to use a router to route out my numbers. They came out really great. The nice thing is my router bit matched the size of my numbers, so that was really easy. I just had to go over one pass, and they look awesome. The last thing for me to do now is put the marks up top, or sorry, cut the slots up top to fit on my aluminum cover, and it'll be ready to go. If I have my aluminum tube here, you can see I left a little bit of a lip. The idea is this is going to slide on here, and that will help hold it up. All right, you can see here I've got my square tube laid down. I've got a mark on it right here, which is where I'm going to cut it. This is my 9-inch mark, so that'll be the length of my plexiglass. And on the sides here, I've got two black lines. I'm going to use my angle grinder with a metal disc on it to cut that piece out in the center. So this is the last step. So what we need to do is we need to put two cuts into this piece of plexiglass, one on each side. Now the way you do that is you set your depth of your blade to the depth that you need just to slide that on there. All right, 
Well, look how cool this is. You can see here I have my LED rope lit up. Um, I'm going to have to cut a lot of that rope off because I only need a few inches of it, about nine inches to cover the top here. I've sanded the edges really lightly. Be careful not to scuff the surface, but look how awesome that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this wire now and I'm going to insert it into my top piece, which is already fit. Let me unplug this to do this. Now what you'll see is on this rope, there are spots along the rope that say cut. So you can cut there. I know that I need to cut right at this spot. So this is what I'm going to do. Let me unplug that for now. This, the other nice thing about this tape is it's, it's got adhesive on the back here. So just take it off like so. Put it into your, and try to center it. And now it's stuck to that. This little end, I'm going to bend over like this. I'm going to go this way. Actually, it fits better. You can see it just slides right into those grooves that I cut. No problem. And there's my plate. Now let me plug it in. And you won't get the full effect during the day, but at night you'll see that it'll come out really great. So here's what it looks like. Well guys, it was a total journey, but here it is. It's a great result, and whoever you give it to, or you give it to yourself, they'll absolutely love it. That's it for now. My name's Andrew from Kaidarmi. Please, subscribe to my channel and like this video, and go make yourself one of these.